I found drugs, I thought this was a secret they were keeping from me. I really did. I thought, holy shit, this is how you get through life. This is how you do it. And I realized I started to feel the way I thought I was supposed to feel. I was supposed to feel like John Wayne, but I didn't. I felt like Gumby. Frank's a heavy set Italian from Brooklyn, New York, sort of obnoxious. Are you talking to me? But, you know, he's got a really endearing way of being. Frank's one of those guys, he walks in and before he knows anyone in the room, he's already like commenting about the space or making a joke. <laughs> The whole thing started off when Frank came in, Cafe Gratitude, a mostly raw food restaurant, and we have a question of the day. And the question of the day was, what do you want to do before you die? And Frank said, I want to fall in love one more time. I don't think anyone will love me with this body that I'm wearing because I don't love myself. I'm taking a slew of other medications. In the morning, I practically take a fistful of pills that you know I don't really even know what they're doing. And I feel really terrible about it, quite frankly. This propelled me into action, and I just was like, you want to do an experiment? How about you come in here, and you eat this food, you allow us to be your transformational cheerleaders so that you can shed whatever you're carrying, the shame, the weight, the discontent, and really love yourself so that someone else can love you. These have got to go. That's not mine, that was left to me. Liar. Fried chicken. We know what oh, Frankie's yeah. been sneaking. That's actually growing vegetables on that. <laughs> I haven't eaten any of that crap. Look at that breakfast. This looks like it should be mowed. It actually was mowed, and then it turned into that. Oh, God, he's doing it champ style. <laughs> <sighs> Every muscle in my body is about to split in half right now. <laughs> we can heal the self-diminishing aspect of Frank, that's gonna change a lot of aspects of his life. It's nice to meet you. No, I'm not from outer space. Repeat after me. Yes, sir. I, Frank. I, Frank. You love me. Do love, do love me. I am perfect health. Radiant, radiant, radiant beauty. It feels terrible. This is what you want. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. I keep thinking every day, well, you know, if something will happen today to create a shift, Somewhere in me, I believe that things are going to change. What would love do now? It's just that I don't see how. What would love do now? You know, my experience is that I'm still caught up in my anger towards my daughter and Mia for letting this whole thing happen. That you know, to take away, to take away my ability to take care of my kids. Until you see Lisa face to face and deal with her anger, she's angry because of what she saw me going through. Because see, you didn't see that. Did anybody ever say to her, this was not right what we did? No. They haven't got the fucking balls. Fucking right. As rageful and self-loathing as I feel right now, I might as well have just I still be a fucking dope fiend. I want to be a friend. But I don't think that the pain you cause other people can be separated from the pain that you incur on yourself. I want to be afraid. I'm sorry I hurt a lot of people. I really, I mean, I'm really sorry. Will you? <laughs> Shyla said, you know, your life will change. It happens to some people. Never to come down again. All of that has helped me come back to the person I was supposed to be in the first place. I want to be a friend. What a glimpse of my foreskin this morning. <laughs> I did! I, no, well, I kind of took my stomach in, but I saw a glimpse. I mean, we're on our way there, boys! <laughs> <laughs>